we're going to show you guys some fun games that you can play with your puppy um, or your adult dog. This will work for puppies and adult dogs um, and it's going to build their confidence. So from the time that they are born, puppies begin to take on the world that's all around them, right? They live in our world and they have all these new experiences. Each new experience is associated with a reaction that's gonna help shape your dog into what's eventually gonna become an adult dog, hopefully, that is very confident. Okay, so with the help from you, a puppy um, can really take on those new situations with confidence and learn to adapt to a variety of different circumstances. So playing games with your puppy is really gonna build their confidence. Um, so remember that the greatest thing that we can give our dog is the ability to build confidence. Now, when we introduce um, our puppy to different games and we're trying to build that confidence, it always needs to be a positive experience and we always wanna motivate them to do it, but we don't wanna force them to do it. So if we give them something to look forward to, to encourage them to do it, they're more likely to do it, but we aren't gonna force it on them. So some dogs, we might have to take a step back and go a little slower than others, um, but these puppies are pretty young, and so hopefully they will adjust rather quickly. So what we're gonna do now is get some delicious treats. So one thing we wanna make sure we're doing to entice our puppy is have something that they are going to want. So some dogs are more motivated than others with their regular kibble, but some might need something special. And so these guys are super food motivated. As you can tell, they're little chunky chunkies. So our first thing that we're gonna do is the sniff mat. For the sniff mat, a lot of that is um, just building their confidence to get your puppy to explore. So you want them to be an explorer and not be afraid to explore different things. So the puppies have never seen the things I'm showing you right now. They have never seen. The only thing they have seen is the pool and the tunnel. Um, <laughs> and this is just a sniff mat. You can buy any of them. This is nothing special, but it, I like the fact that it has this circle part so I could hook it on things, except these puppies are so ginormous that they just knock it off. So all I'm doing is putting a couple pieces inside here. And the, the reason why I want them to, to go up here is because I'm encouraging them to come up on this. So a regular sniff mat you're gonna put on the ground, but I wanna see if they're gonna climb up because this right here is building his confidence to climb up on something. And he's getting underneath it. And the other one's gonna go under it. So his brother is not um, coming up so I'm just kind of enticing him, but I'm not forcing him. But do you see how confident his brother is? He's just up there checking it out. And if they pull it down, that's fine. Let him pull it down. <laughs> Good boy. So now his brother did it. Good job. And it's not even hard, guys. This is just something fun. They're working their nose. You're building a relationship with your puppy and it's convincing them to climb up onto this and not be afraid of the sound of the texture. Okay, so that's our first one. They did pretty good, I would say, for never seeing it, but that's because, again, we have these amazing treats in here that they've never had. Good job, buddy. Um, so my next one is, is kind of a fun one. So this is cardboard pile up. And normally I don't give my dogs cardboard. You never see cardboard out here. Um, but this is something that is good because you want to encourage your puppy to climb up in boxes over things and let things tip over and let it not distract them or worry them. We don't want them scared. So they've never seen these. They've never seen boxes. They've never seen that crinkly paper. And so we're just going to put a bunch of stuff. So what I'm doing as I'm piling this is I'm just putting some stuff in here. And what I want them to do is climb up here. That they're excited. Oh, so do you see him? That's exactly what we want. That's all we want. We just wanted that. That is awesome. Good job, buddy. I didn't show him that. He smelled that there was a 
a treat there. And so if he, if he jumps too much, this is going to tip over. That's what we're wanting. We want exactly that. Push it back. The little ones. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want him to see it. It tipped over. It wasn't super spooked by it. <laughs> so can you guys see that? <laughs> this is all crinkly. There he goes. <laughs> It's not affecting him. He doesn't care that all of this is crinkling on him and touching him. This is all building his confidence. Now his brother has decided, oh, if it's not scary for him, then I'm going to do it too. And now look at them. They're both in the box, which normally this would be a very scary situation. Like when you're walking down the street with your dog and it's trash day or something blowing down the street, a lot of puppies and even adult dogs are spooked by that. <laughs> Good job, good job boys. Okay, so this next one, we are building um, their confidence by having them weave in and out of our legs. And this is because a lot of small dogs are worried about us being big and tall and standing over them. And so this is gonna help build their confidence with them coming in and out of your legs. Oh, so I just want him to come through. And around here and over here and don't go too long without giving it to him because you want to reward him it's right there papa look goofball so now i have the other one's attention and literally this is just getting them used to being all over our legs and standing when we're up high and it's rewarding just be careful with your guys' fingers if you have a biter. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, my next one. So noises. So this game's gonna be great for puppies that are spooked easily. You can do plastic water bottles that are empty and they crinkle, right? So if you just put them down and they're empty even, they're gonna crinkle and Something to entice them is putting some kibble inside of it um, so they smell that it's in there. I'm putting the lid back on because I don't want them to get it, but you can even leave the lid off. And you're just going to encourage them to play with them, grab them, pick them up, shake them, step on them. And you see this sound is not really bothering them. But some puppies at this age, this is really spooky to them. But another thing for the sound is going to be the ball pit. So we introduced this for the first time last week and it didn't take the puppies long at all. I threw a couple pieces of treat in there and they have been playing in this nonstop. So there's a few pieces of food in here. All I'm gonna do is dump it in here. Although my puppies already love the pool. You guys would be surprised at how many dogs are terrified of this. Um, so this is a really good way to introduce them to this. This is really soft plastic. Imagine they're laying on all of these balls and what it's doing for their confidence level. You know, they have to hop in and out of here. They go bouncing all over. These things go flying out. So another thing that you guys can get for them, which is amazing to teach them to go through things, um, is a toddler tunnel. You'll see that a lot of my uh, things for my puppies and my dogs is all kid related. And so if your puppy won't go through it initially, which most won't, so don't, don't think that they will, you can just literally have two people, one on each end, and you put your puppy on one end and you're calling the puppy on the other end with a treat or with their favorite toy or just calling them and see if they'll come through. Again, don't force them to go through this, um, but just encourage them to go through it. These dogs, I just introduced this to them yesterday. They literally run back and forth, hop all over it. If they want, then all we're gonna do is encourage them to go in. And since they love this thing so much and they want it, We'll see if we can get them to go in. They already did. You weren't. Oh, they did? Yeah, you weren't paying attention. You I were wasn't. Talking. I was talking. Yeah, yeah, and as soon as you set it down, they went through it. And it rolls. 
So while they're in it, it's rolling and it's really helping with the sensory of things moving, all of this funny sound and texture. You smell the treats, you're a cheater, you're a cheater. Okay, so now we want to encourage them to go onto different platforms and some things could be wobbling. So if you guys are in your, in your yard or you're walking in the neighborhood or going to the park, encourage them if there's a small brick um, wall then encourage them to walk on that wall if there is benches and park um, things equipment that they can climb on encourage them to jump up and down on those things it's really going to boost their confidence level whenever they're able to just hop up and down on things in those feelings of the different texture so you know the brick wall or the rubber or the plastic um, that's going to definitely help encourage them to not be afraid of anything that they come across whenever they're out and about in our world. So if you just put carrots and, hey, look at that. They've never seen this, never. So for him to do this is amazing. So I have to reward that. And this is all you're doing at this stage. Like you're just putting obstacle courses. You're just putting stuff out there and try not to let them bite you. Um, and encourage them to do it. I didn't even have to encourage him. He just did it and he's just standing here. That is amazing. You're a good puppy. You tired? You're tired. Hi. Okay, so my last one is gonna be my fishing pole. For anybody who is new, who maybe doesn't know about this pole, I love this toy. Now, whenever you're playing with this, any type of tug of war, any type of chase, the important thing to remember is that you have to let your puppy win. So if you are constantly running and chasing and making them jump and they don't ever win, you're going to discourage them and you're not going to help build your confidence in your dog. You're actually going to lower their self-esteem because now they can't get it. Um, so the, the goal is to let them have fun with this, but they need to win. They can work for it but they need to win once in a while. Thank you so much for all of the love and support. We hope that you learned something about building your puppy's confidence with games. And until next time, bye. <laughs> As the puppies go crazy.